$200 raise per month for Social Security, including retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, and VA beneficiaries. Is it coming in September? That's a great question and exactly what we're going to focus on right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now this is a really good question that was recently emailed to me by somebody right here on the channel. This person reached out and said, I heard a $200 raise is going to be coming in September for Social Security beneficiaries. Is this true? Well, that's exactly what I wanna focus on here in the video as there are a lot of moving parts about this potential $200 per month raise for millions and millions of beneficiaries series. So let's get into it and discuss all the details and everything that you need to know. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. As I am your one and only daily advocate, I am very much dedicated to you and this community to continue watching all this new information, hitting the wire every single day, doing all the necessary research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what is actually going on right now, especially during this incredibly busy time as we continue to get all these new announcements coming out of the administration, the president, lawmakers in Congress, as well as everything that Congress currently has on their plate right now, including all the new bills and packages, proposals and amendments, reform to these very important benefits, as well as anything in regards to money, checks, programs, stimulus, raises to benefits, or anything else along these lines. I want to make sure that you know about it because ultimately, like I say so many times, it's all going to impact us in some way, shape, or form, including our money, our benefits, our lifestyle, bank account, and and ultimately our livelihood going forward. Very important information. We need to understand what is actually going on right now and what is actually happening versus just what is being proposed. So let's get into it and talk through the details. Like I said, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And I'll continue to be here for you right by your side every single day with the honest, accurate, reliable, and transparent information every single day in these videos as that is my commitment. And again, I'm sticking to it. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into it and talk about what is going on and is this $200 per month raise actually coming in September? Great question. All right, so here's what it comes down to. A few months ago, in fact, in June, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and a handful of other Democratic representatives, sorry, senators, came out and introduced the Social Security Expansion Act, which also has within it the $200 per month raise to benefits or $2,400 per year for millions and millions of Social Security beneficiaries. Now, within that piece of legislation, there are also other provisions in there, like increasing taxes on the higher income individuals, which would increase solvency of the program and a whole bunch of other business out there. But again, I want to leave that for a different video. Let's uh, simply focus on the $200 per month raise. And is it actually coming this month for September? Great question. Here's what it comes down to. In order to get that $200 per month raise, we would first need to see this bill work its way through Congress, work its way through the Senate, work its way through the House of Representatives, regardless of where it starts in uh, Congress, as in which chamber, doesn't really matter. But as it works its way through Congress, then we would need to have the voting process through both of the chambers and then ultimately signed by the president. I can tell you this much. As of right now, that has not happened yet, okay? It has not happened yet. They have not worked on it in the Senate and they have not worked on it in the House of Representatives. Even though it was introduced in the Senate, they still haven't really done a whole lot with it, right? They did introduce it. They talked about it. It's a great plan. A lot of good ideas out there. But at the end of the day, they've done nothing with it. They have not brought it to the floor to vote on it. They have not even really opened it up for debate yet, other than the fact when Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren brought it to the floor that day um, a few months ago and discussed it then. But other than that, they basically just put it in the filing cabinet and they basically forgot about it. Or maybe they didn't forget about it. I'm not really sure what they're doing with it. But other than that, they have not done anything with it. Well, as a result of that, because they did not work their way through the Senate, it has not worked its way through the House, and it has not been signed by the President. The simple answer to the question is no, it cannot be distributed as in the $200 per month raise cannot be distributed as of right now because it hasn't been passed yet. That's why, okay? So, when it comes down to this $200 per month raise, and again, like I said earlier, my dedication is to bring you the honest, accurate, reliable, and transparent information every single day in these videos, even if sometimes I need to come out in videos like this and tell you that, unfortunately, it hasn't happened yet, and it's not going to be coming this month either, okay? So that's what um, I, I wanted to share with you in this video. So again, I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. I know sometimes I have to be the messenger, and I have to be the person that brings the bad news, but ultimately, it's more important to get the news 
news that's actually accurate versus just hearing, wait, I heard it was coming. And then ultimately you get your monthly benefit and you realize, wait, it's not there. What happened? Did they miss out on me or what happened? Was I forgotten once again? Oh yeah, we all know how that happens, right? It feels like fixed income beneficiaries and the low income are forgotten way too often. So I think many of us probably default to the idea that, oh, wait, we didn't get it. That must mean that they forgot about us yet again, right? Well, no, they actually didn't forget about us totally. They just didn't do anything. That's all it, what it comes down to is that they just didn't do anything about it yet. They have not passed it through Congress. So that's what it comes down to and where that bill currently stands. Just like so many of the others out there right now that we've heard about out of Social Security and all these reform and piece of legislation in order to change benefits, raise benefits, reform the program, increase solvency, all kinds of different things. For example, like the one we're talking about right here, the Social Security Expansion Act of 2022, that one, the Social Security 2100, the SSI Restoration Act, the Social Security for Futures Generations Act. Um, you know, the list goes on and on. All these different proposals that have hit the table just in the last, I don't know, eight months, six months, um, last 12 months that have all hit the table and nothing has come of them. In fact, there's another one out there um, I'm forgetting the name right now, but it's something else we've talked about here on the channel. Just another proposal that I could have added to that list that I just read off there and just said, hey, you know what I mean? That's uh, nothing has come of all of these yet. So that's where it really comes down to. So at any given point, yes, Congress could come forward and start um, maybe negotiating any of these or working their way through these. But as of right now, they're just sitting in the filing cabinet collecting dust at this point, right? So anyway, uh, whether you hear it out there and you hear other you know, headlines or pieces of information coming out or whatever you happen to come across that says it's happening, well, I can tell you this much. It might happen someday, but for September, it's certainly not happening. Even if they started working on it right now today, it probably wouldn't even be passed by the end of the month. And if they did happen to pass it by the end of the month, in a stroke of magic and in a stroke of um, a, a miracle, if, actually, if that actually did happen realistically, Payments still probably wouldn't come out in September anyway, okay? So just being real with you right now, even in the best case scenario, even if they started working on it today, they negotiated their way through it, it made its way through the Senate, made its way through the House, finally signed by the president. If they actually did all that, the process would probably take longer than a month anyway by the time they actually got down to it. So even for September, I don't think that's really gonna happen, okay? I'm just being real with you right now, okay? I hope that you can respect that and understand that I'm not here saying that I don't want it to happen. I, by all means, I am I want it to happen probably more than anything else because I know, I see the comments down below. I see the struggle from so many people out there right now where an extra $200 realistically probably wouldn't even cut it anymore these days. It would help, it would help a ton. It would probably bring many people back to even because of all this inflation. Many people are probably cutting back on their expenses, cutting back on things that they actually need right now by probably at least $200 a month. So ultimately, it might just bring us back to even. So don't get me wrong. I completely understand the importance between, between a $200 per month raise and why it would need to be implemented so incredibly fast. But again, I hope you can understand that and recognize too that I'm also being real with you right now as far as the reality of what is actually happening rather than just what some headlines or what some other people are saying without doing actual research on this stuff, okay? So that's what I do is I watch all this stuff very closely. I'm literally doing research all day, every single day, seven days a week, basically from the time that I wake up at 4.15 every day, seven days a week until I go to bed at like 11.30 every night. I'm, so, I'm constantly looking at headlines. I'm constantly looking at news information, all this breaking news and different alerts that are coming across my screen literally all day, every single day. I'm watching it all so that I can bring it to you in these short videos and to ultimately bring you the honest, accurate, reliable, and transparent information, just like I've said a couple times throughout this video. That's my dedication and ultimately I will continue to stick to that. So I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. Again, if you have not done so yet, please make sure to check out some of the other videos here on the channel, especially some of the recent videos as there's been a lot of really cool things dropping recently. Uh, we're doing a lot of cool stuff as of right now. A lot of money going out the door, cash drops, tons and tons, hundreds, even over a thousand packages going out the door uh, to those people here in the community with those necessities, the things that you need. So while we sit here and twiddle our thumbs waiting for Congress to do something, we're actually taking action, action right here on the channel, sending out all this really cool stuff to those of here in the community because honestly like i said i see this struggle down below in the comment section i know it is real right now there's a lot of things that people need and ultimately probably can't afford or get just because if you have an extra hundred dollars per month what are you going to do you're going to buy some food you're going to pay your rent you're going to put some car, uh, gas in your car or you're going to go out and buy some laundry detergent i mean let's just be real right now right so 
Um, I think we all know that right now priorities are on the necessities. The bare necessities is basically what everybody needs right now. And it's pretty much all that fixed income benefits are covering at this time. So kind of a sad situation. And ultimately that $200 per month raise would be very, very nice right about now. So it sure would be nice if they timed it right about now, but uh, unfortunately it's just not gonna happen this month. Maybe by the end of the year. I mean, maybe anything could happen by the end of the year. I don't wanna sit here and uh, lead people on and say, for sure by the end of the year, it will be coming. I don't know that. Uh, in fact, Congress probably doesn't even know that, okay? So I, I don't wanna be the person that says for sure on anything. All that I do know is that time will continue to pass by. And I do know that uh, some things will be continued to be announced. And I also do know that there will be action on some, there will be a lot of inaction on others. I do know that for sure, right? We've seen it so many times now. So anyway, for the person that was asking, uh, that, uh, that sent me that email, I hope this answers your question, as well as so many others here in the community that have been wondering the exact same question on this $200 per month raise for social security benefits, including all those beneficiaries I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Anyway, hope this one helps you out. And I hope this gives you further clarification on what's going going on with a potential raise to benefits and any other details that you might need to know right now. So again, thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure to subscribe down below. If you haven't done so yet, share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out some of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. And I can give you a little tip. Go back and check out some of the handful of videos just over the last I don't know, three, four, five, six, seven days or so. And then of course, continue watching these videos going forward as there's gonna be some really cool announcements over the coming days. I can tell you that much. So stay tuned and uh, keep those comments coming in. Anyway, enjoy your day. Until next time, have a good one and I'll catch you again later.